Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from bullionnow.com.au, bringing you all the fun stuff, including, hesitatingly, stuff from the Royal Mint. A table full of goodies <laughs> nonetheless though. Absolutely um, it we've is. We've got three different types of metals here um, and a couple of different sizes in the silver. So super keen to see um, what we've got hiding in here. Um, people will have seen the uh, the title, I presume, um, but we have got the uh, the Tudor Beasts, finally. We have. This oh. is this is one that we've had requests for even before the coin itself actually existed um, <laughs> yes. because a lot of people thought it existed before it actually did. Uh, because of the, the way they've done the release on this one, uh, the proof version of this coin and therefore the design was seen way back at the start of the series, I believe. Yeah. Um, so people saw the proof release and go, hey, have you got any of the bullion, bullion version? Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be honest, it's been a bit of a struggle to keep up with what order they've been, been bringing these out in, but it's good to have the dragon here at last, so. It's, it's frustrating the way they do that because they release, like Perth will release their proof sometimes before their, um, their bullion, but it's usually only before, a week or so. I was going to say, but before being a week or so, yeah, yeah. Not, not way back last year. So everyone gets very confused with it, including us, Yes, I have to admit. Um, but it is here I, and I we do, have the I do the love their designs. They do a beautiful design and it looks like these are clear. I like it. They are. What a great design. So this is, which one? This is the dragon. This is the dragon, the fifth in the series um, for, the, for the bullion at least. And they won't just call it the dragon, they will call it... The Tudor dragon. The Tudor dragon. Oh, beautiful coin, I'm trying to have a closer look. I need to put my eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why it was all blurry. Um, yeah, so the Tudor dragon. So it's a two ounce coin, so we will see as I roll it around it's, that, it's the same size planchet as the one ounce, but because it's the same diameter, you get this much chunkier coin, which I think more mints should do it. I think it's great and good on the Royal Mint for actually producing something like that, which is just that little bit different. Um, and then obviously five pounds with King Charles on the back. More than uh, more value than we put on our two ounce silver coins here in Australia. So yes. Slightly higher, a little bit closer to the, uh, the $10 Australian mark. Yeah. So, well, I should leave those out, shouldn't I? So we've got something to compare them all to. On to the next box. We will be moving on to the next box. So that's the two ounce, done. Move that to the side. Hopefully the next one is the 10 ounce. And I'm looking forward to this, because- You always love your uh, your larger planchets. That's the one. Um, and it, yeah, we'll let us take a little bit of a, uh, a closer look at the design. I may not have to put my glasses on for it. <laughs> Alrighty. It's always odd. The 10 ounce box is always lighter than the two ounce box. Yeah, that's it. It yeah, throws yeah. me every <laughs> single time. <laughs> they, uh, they pack far less of the, uh, the coins in there with the, uh, the added packaging they have around the outside, which we'll see just there. So we don't even need to undo this one. Nope, they show us just... both sides. So again, you've got that great design on the dragon. Um, so it's a, a very European dragon, so it's a bit chunkier in the belly, a bit like me. Um, and um, it has that uh, more European face that they tend to draw than the, uh, than the Asian dragon face that they tend to get. Which might be a good bit of a change for people who have, uh, yeah, we've had the, the Year of the Dragon this year, obviously, yeah. and so there, there has been a lot more of the, uh, the Asian style dragons. Um, so yeah, good, good to have a little bit of a, I, I a think change. It's, I think it's actually quite good. The one thing I would have liked to have seen is, particularly on this larger one, you can't notice it so much on the two ounce, but there's no real detail in the body of it. Mm. So it would be nice if they scaled that up rather than it looking like a, a leathery hide, it was a bit more scaled. Um, there's possibly a reason for that that I'm not aware of, which someone in the uh, notes will obviously tell me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would have liked to have seen a bit more detail in that in the body of the dragon, but still a very, very good design. And again, King Charles on the back. And this one, even though it's five times the weight of this one, it only has a face value of 10 pounds. There you go. So that is the 10 pounder. Sorry, not the 10, well, no, well, yeah. 10 ounce. <laughs> Swapping between the, uh... The fiat value versus the weight, yeah. And we've got the smaller and lighter boxes. Yes. Much smaller and lighter. Somebody forgot to turn their phone off. It's normally you. Well, it actually is me. Mine's still on, but fortunately <laughs> no one's <laughs> ringing me. 
<laughs> Alrighty. What do you reckon? So, What's your bet? Gold or uh, I reckon gold this or one's platinum? actually platinum, but we're about to see. It is good to see uh, a little bit of variation in the in the platinum coins. Yeah. Get oh, the uh... actually no. It'll be one or the other. <laughs> Now you're sounding like uh, someone uh, doing technical analysis. Yeah, that's right. It'll either go yeah. up or come down. Or it'll stay where it is. Yeah. But either way, I'll be right and next week. And next week, you better <laughs> believe I'll be telling everyone I hit it perfectly. And I got it wrong. <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh, mm. I don't know, actually. Let's find out. Now, we uh, we didn't get a whole heap of all of these in. We um, not, not to go into it too much, but a little bit of nervousness <laughs> around the, uh, the Royal Mint at the moment. So we've, we've wanted to get these ones through to kind of those, those that are collecting the series, um, you know, getting, getting each one as they come out. Um, we want to make sure they, uh, they get the option to, to stack them. Um, but yeah, we haven't got heaps and heaps. So if you were interested in these ones, I would recommend getting them sooner rather than later because uh, yeah, this, this'll be a, a one-off. It certainly will be. And if I'd remembered, we'd ordered in the quarter ounce. Ah. I would have guessed that. <laughs> there we go. But I did not. So there we go. I actually really, I love the quarter ounce in these. It's a, although gold being what it is, it's a bit more expensive than it used to be. But um, it used to be, still is. It's a good size where you can, you can still get gold, you can still get the coin, you still get the design, but you're not paying an arm and a leg for it. So, um, Seems yeah. to be much more common with a lot of the American and European stackers to, to collect the, the quarter ounce as opposed to the one tenth seems to be a lot more popular here in Australia. Absolutely it does. So. Alrighty, I reckon we save some time and uh, we'll, we'll magically cut into these ones and uh, we'll see everyone back in a second. Alrighty, we're into another tube. That's what we should set up a competition with our, with the Bullion Now family. Of we'll what? Have a, I reckon we do it up in Sydney, but we should have a competition, a race, to see who can open some of these boxes first. Uh, get, get to what's inside. I, I like the idea, I think we'll have to sign something, we just, <laughs> you know, if we're giving them knives or something, we don't want anyone chopping anything <laughs> off. Um, but no, I think that's a, a fantastic idea. A little unboxing competition. Yeah, and people can actually sympathise instead of saying, oh, you're using the knife wrong. <laughs> Beautiful to see it in that. I actually like the design better on gold than I do on silver. It could be just my expensive taste coming in. Uh, I think it does pop. <laughs> uh, I think it does pop a little bit more. Yeah, I think the design pops better in the um, in the gold than the silver. Now this one's been mangled, so I don't actually know how I'm going to open this one. <laughs> this is level two, just to keep things interesting <laughs> yeah, for you. That's right. Um, but yeah, we should have lucky last here being the uh, being the platinum. So always a bit of nerves when I'm opening the last box, thinking. Is it actually what I think it is, or well, is it something else? And well, particularly when it's got the box has got a bit of a dent in it as well. Even if it is the thing you ordered, is uh, is what's inside okay? Yeah. Always a worry. Do we know how many are actually left still in this the series? I'm not actually sure. Oh. I haven't. Like I said, this is one of those ones because of the order they've released it that I'm a little bit, you know, <laughs> all over the place with uh, keeping up with it. So yeah, someone will have to let us know down below, or future me will have to. Uh, Flash it up on screen to, to find out where we're at with it. Has it has it reached the level of the uh, the Queen's Beast? And do you think it will have earned a completer? Because I think that's the, the big question on I'll, a lot of people's minds. I'll be surprised if they don't do a completer. Look, it's not impossible. Mm. But I'll be surprised if they don't. But um, the the Queen's Beast series is obviously the the OG, the original. So you know that is that is the series. Yeah. But it's certainly a popular series. And there we go. That's the one in platinum. Looking very, very similar to the one in silver, but obviously a lot thinner. So really nice design. Like I said, I'd like to see a bit more detail in the body. Prefer the design in gold to silver, um, but overall, yeah, big tick. And they look like, I'm not gonna call that Royal Mint solved their, uh, <laughs> their issues, but um, this is certainly a good start. Anything else to add to that? I think we're all good. Limited numbers available. Grab them while you can. Talk again very, very soon. See ya.